What's going on you guys? Here it is. This is the beginning of my player. I made a two-way defender. And don't worry, there's no cutscenes. I cut them all off. I just put it for the introduction. Showing you guys my name. Because unfortunately, I forgot to record when I actually created my player. So I'm just going to be showing you guys the badges and the stats on here. So as you can see, I'm a sharp shooting defender. Basically, that's primary defending, secondary three-point shooting. Three-point shooting, my bad. So my primary badges, I got some nice ones. And another reason why I went for the three-point shooting is because you get silver badges at the three-point shot, I mean catch and shoot. Um, you get corner specialists all at silver, so that's pretty nice. It's going to definitely help you with your shooting. And um, for my weight and my height, I don't remember what I put. I completely forgot. I'm so sorry about that. But I'll definitely update you guys probably um, in the next video or whenever I can. <laughs> But as you can see, the mid-range and the three-point is not that high, but it's still decent. But when I do max it out, I can probably say that it's probably going to be roughly in the 70s, low 70s, maybe 70 to 73 maybe, who knows. But with the badges, it's definitely going to help as well. So that's a good thing to have. But when the full game comes out, I'm probably going to remake the player just so I can see the final attributes because I know I've heard actually that when the game comes out you'll be able to see the full attributes depending on your height, your weight and all of that, your waistband. So uh, that's what I'm probably going to do. When I can see all the stats I'll finalize, I'll probably remake the build but as of now I did max waistband, wingspan and max weight I think and my height was like 6'5 or 6'6, I don't remember honestly. But so far this is just like a feeling out process. So this should be pretty interesting. A unique build. A lot of people are making their scoring builds first and I don't blame them. I'm probably I'm obviously gonna make more builds afterwards, so this will be my first. So my first play, well my first defensive possession, I was able to contain um, the guy with the red hair. I don't even know what his name is, I think the flying dragon. So that was pretty nice. I find my open teammate here for the three, he misses, I get the rebound. And I missed the putback, but it's all good. My player is not going to shine in terms of scoring. Defense will be his number one priority. Hence why I made the build. <laughs> so I'm going to be cutting, I'm trying to bump my defender, trying to be the best defensive player I can be. You know, learn their tendencies and everything. I contained him there, but I didn't contain him on the box out. So he got the putback. But honestly, this game was a pretty good matchup for myself. I was able to contain him as much as I can. He jumps right there. I find the open teammate. Wide open for three. Get the open triple. Watch me running. I'm pretty fast. Sprinting all over these screens. Wide open right here. Wide open shot. And let me know in the comments which build did you guys make and what position what height, what wingspan and all of that. I'm curious to see. I want to see if there's some unique builds out there. The most popular I've been seeing is the shot creators. The sharp shooter. Uh, I don't remember the other, the other combination, but there's a lot of um, builds that are popular right now. I've seen pure glass cleaners. I've seen pure shot creators. I've seen a couple of pure lockdowns. But in terms of two-way, three-point shooting and lockdowns, uh, I wanted to try it out, why not? Because I feel like there's a lot of ways I can impact the game besides scoring. If I could tip some passes, disrupt some offensive sets, get some rebounds here and there, just play team basketball, basically I should be fine. Because I'm only going to be taking the open shots anyway, so my 3 point rating being 74, 73 max with the badges should be fine for myself. And speaking of defense, watch me bump him. I don't know why my teammate came for the help there. Initially I had him on the... <laughs> I was creating some contact, which is good. That's what I want to do. I just want to make it as tough as possible for the offensive player. I'm grabbing him. <laughs> I was grabbing him. He had to sprint away from me. Did you guys see that? That was hilarious. I'm just trying to be as annoying as possible. And what's crazy is that my player is still a 60 overall. So it's the lowest you can be. And I'm going up against the superstar. He has a star beside his, his username. So I don't know what rating he is. 
and I'm giving him a hard time already. My speed with the ball is not that great. <laughs> I was a snail right there. I got the steal, but the running wasn't that great. So I can't imagine once I upgrade my player and I'm not 60 overall how great my defense is going to be. Look at that strip. Oh yeah. <laughs> That's nice to see. So I'm just passing it to my point guards. Right in the plays they're asking me to do. Beautiful ball movement. Beautiful spacing. Screen and roll. They left me wide open. Perfect release in the corner. That's my role right there. Hit the open shots and play defense. So far I'm loving it. I love making unique builds. I, I also wanted to make an Anthony Davis type build where I could play some defense and also get some buckets. That's probably going to be my secondary build after this one. Or I might go for a point guard. I'm not too sure yet. We'll see how it plays out. But as of right now, this is my build that I'm going to start off with. You know, pretty unique, pretty cool to watch. So if you guys want to see more, drop a like, leave some comments. If you guys want to see my two-way defender go through my career in the park, pro-am and all that. Another perfect release. <laughs> so nice. I'm telling y'all, if you can get your shot, look, another strip. If you can get your shot down, then it should be a problem. And my strength is all the way up. I made my weight all the way to the max because I want to be able to bump people. Like I mentioned, as you guys can see here, I'm bumping the Flying Dragon right now. But I'm out of stamina. My Gatorade is coming up. He had to use a double screen to get off me, but he misses. So that was the only way he got free. He had to use those screens. But one-on-one, -on -one, I'm right there with a Gatorade symbol and I'm still playing decent defense. I got a good shot contest. So my stamina is a bit higher. And my movement is also upgraded. My defense should be pretty nice. So I missed the rebound there. I can't even move anymore. <laughs> my energy was all the way down. So there's two minutes left in the game. I've been doing a great job on the Flying Dragon. I pressed the wrong icon there. I meant to pass it to my point guard. But I'm going to come back on defense. Play some solid D. Make him miss. Run in the floor. Look how fast I am, and I get the jam, let's go! So I looked at it, and my dunks are still gonna be in the 70s once I max it out, so it's not bad. I could slam it down here and there. I'm bumping the Flying Dragon, playing some good defense, boxing him out, getting the rebound, let's go! I'm trying to contain him as much as possible. Obviously, I won't contain him to zero points, but you know, you gotta make it as difficult as possible. So right now it's a four point basketball game. I'm playing some great defense, but I have the Gatorade symbol. He makes that tough layup. We end up losing the game by a few points, but it's all good. It's the first game. First game on 2K19, first time with this build. And like I said, when the full game comes out, I'm probably gonna remake it depending on the stats. I'm not too sure, but most likely I will. So if you guys want to see more, drop a comment, drop a like, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video and want to get flashed, please be sure to share and like this video. To stay updated, click subscribe and also follow GFlash on Twitter.